Hello everyone and welcome back to Omnicraft. I'm Mr. Zurius and I'm sure you can tell I'm sounding a bit ill. That's because I am ill. So apologies for the weird sounding voice. Hopefully it gets better through the video as I talk more and drink so much water and coffee. So I'm going to start this episode by saying one of the most dreaded things a Minecraft YouTuber can say. I did some work off camera. As you can see the villager's house here has had some much needed detail and depth added to it. I'm really really enjoying how it looks now. As always if you guys have suggestions on ways to improve the design or anything like that please let me know. It's not quite finished, I've only sort of done the front because I really couldn't be bothered doing the rest of it. <laughs> You'll also see that there's cats absolutely everywhere. Oh speaking of that. Hi guys, nope. Yeah so there's cats absolutely everywhere and these phantoms cannot get into Omniville now because of this. But that doesn't mean they can't be really annoying so we'll be back on this morning. So this is going to be a bit more of a laid back episode just because I am ill. So future me who is editing this video, put in some nice relaxing music for the viewers will you? There we go, isn't that better? You know the sad thing about this is, is I can't actually hear the music because I'm going to add it in post, but let's continue. So as I said I've done some work off camera and I wasn't lying. I made a town square, I really wanted something that had a lot of depth and height to it so we've got this standard sort of pavement level here. It goes down here, we've got a nice bell, a cat as you need to have, and very tall mega spruce trees. I'm still playing around with the design of this so far, I feel like I need to do something with these fences. Maybe put some banners over them or something, we'll see what happens. Uh, I just dumped all the lecterns here because I had so many villagers I had to give them all jobs and I thought, well I'll just put these here for now until I can build some sort of library. As you probably noticed there's another building over here. So this is kind of like the workshop smithy area. We've got some blast furnaces here, anvils here, and what are these called? Cauldrons, yes, cauldrons. I knew that. I did. Stop looking at me. This building here is just another building for the villagers to sleep in. Again, with the previous building, this is just temporary. I will make this look much nicer. I don't know why, but the iron golems seem very drawn to standing up here. Get down. You can see we've kind of been overrun by iron golems and cats. It's getting... A bit annoying. And the guy, well, there's two of them in here as well. God. So yeah, all this is very much still work in progress. But I thought I'd better show it off before I do any more work because I kind of got carried away. So another thing that I've done is I've made this little house over here. It's very dilapidated and run down and I used a lot of blocks that I just do not like. So like jungle wood, I absolutely hate jungle wood. Lots of granite and it gives this very pinkish reddish feel to it. But as you can see when it's mixed in with the jungle leaves and... Oh, hi there. You're going to do some work on the table? Why do you guys keep standing on tables? Get down. Get down. I'm warning you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know better. So this is the cleric's house. But someone else claimed this bed apparently because he doesn't sleep in here, ironically. Get off the damn table! Oh, you're testing me, buddy. So what I want to do is I want to finish creating a surrounding sort of upper area here for around the town square. And I also want to see if I can maybe add a bit more detail around here. So in fact, you know what? I've actually got the stuff here, so let's test this out. So I'll take away a couple of these. Oh, this might not work because these are half slabs. Okay, well, let's try it anyway. So let's get rid of those. And we have some stone brick stairs. What? Why? Just go the right way, what is wrong with stairs? Okay, stair there, stair there, and we need to do this again, so let's get rid of these, and then put some water here. Okay, so water logs one half of it, so I would have to do it on both sides here. My thought was potentially to have like a sort of water stream going all the way around the middle of the square here. Okay, so clearly that design won't work. How about this though? How about if I do that there? So we put the slab here against the wall and then waterlog it there. And then I can create like a sort of moat around the outside. So let's just fill in some of the empty parts here. Stop pushing me. Can I not put a slab under there? Is that not how it works now? Do I have to build up two of them? Apparently so. Okay, so I've got this here. I actually kind of like the look of it. Obviously I need to get rid of all these dark parts around the sides here and the, I think that's Podzol from the Giant spruce trees. But yeah, I think that gives quite a nice design to it. 
I'll maybe revisit that later, or maybe do it off camera. We'll see what happens. But let's let's start getting some walls done here. So let's take this wall in a bit because I don't want to have just straight walls all the way around like a big square. I want some variety and depth to it. You can see around here I've done a sort of curved wall here so that it's not just a flat wall all the way across. And what I'm thinking is I'll either build like a very small stall here, like a marketplace or something. You sit down. Or I might just build some sort of like nice water fountain or something. Like maybe I can do this here and then just do this sort of like all the way around this way. You know, do something like that and then maybe put some dispensers and stuff on the wall so it looks like there's water coming out of them. You know, something a bit creative. I'll have a look at that later though. I really wish there was a way to actually assign villagers to workstations and beds so that I could properly control where they lived. Okay, so we've got a nice wall here, a nice curvature to it. It opens up the square a bit. So let's just start placing all the blocks. You have to move, cat. Thank you. See, the great thing with working with stone is you have so much variety you can use. We've got andesite, we've got polished andesite slabs, we've got stone slabs and cobblestone slabs. So you've got five different varieties that can mix together really well. So obviously I've not really done that with the rest of the place, but I do plan on doing that and I'm going to try and do that going forward to save myself having to go back and redo work. Okay, yeah, look, you can see it's starting to really come together with all these different textures. You don't think it makes that much of a difference, but it really does. So look, look at this. Oh wait, I've already done that part. Hold on. So look at this. It's, it is very uniform and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but it just feels kind of boring and it kind of, I don't know, it kind of feels like it irritates my eyes a little bit with all the re repeated textures. But then you come over here and you see all these different varieties of textures. It just gives so much more character and life to it. You're just jumping down from walls, aren't you? I have to put a fence up there so you guys don't kill yourselves. Right, perfect. There we go. Look how much nicer that looks. So I will do this eventually with all the other roads and all the other walls and things like that, but I don't need to do all that on camera. You, you guys aren't interested in watching that. As much as I want this just to be a quite chill video, but I don't want it to be so chill that you fall asleep because it's that boring. So the next part of this is this whole area here. I, I don't know why I've decided this, probably because of this wall here, but I want to have this whole area raised up to this level. So I think we'll just jump into a super quick time lapse for that. So future me, cue some more nice relaxing music for the guys watching and let's get on with this. Okay, that should do it for this part. I don't want to take it too far back here yet because I haven't really decided what I'm going to be doing with this area yet. I'm sure you can tell I don't really have an overall plan or design for the town. It's just I'm just going to let it organically grow and come to me when I when I when it inspiration hits, I guess. I need to make sure I light up all these areas. Oh, no, I can't put down torches because these are half slabs. Oops. Oh, well, if they're half slabs, mobs can't spawn on them anyway, so it's fine. Okay, let's get this wall up here. I'm not sold on these walls as of yet. I don't know if maybe I need to replace them with something else. Maybe some just a collection of blocks and slabs. Whoops, I fell outside the town. So how does this look? Let's have a quick peek at it. You know what, I do like that. I think when I add more variety, some different kind of walls, like stone walls and cobblestone walls, and the same with the walls themselves. It's a, it's a bit confusing saying, because I mean these walls up here, but these blocks here, but it's also technically a wall. You guys know what I mean, right? 
So I don't think we're quite ready yet to do this area here because I have to pull this wall back and start building here and then rebuild the wall. So what I want to do is just for just to finish off this video is I feel like I'm going to build something else up here. Now, what do we need? You know, actually, we've got those stonemasons just sitting over there. You, I, I'm trying to speak. Rude. As I was saying, we've got these stonemasons or stonecutters over here. We could bring them over here and we could build some sort of masonry. Just a very nice stone building. You know what, I just realised we need to have some sort of stairs or something here, don't we? Because it's just too cold stuff. I'm really enjoying these sort of more organic stairs. Although I look, I've actually done this symmetrically by accident, but that's fine. It just it seems a bit nicer than just actual stairs like these guys here, which is great if you're just trying to get some height into the place. But if you don't mind too much and you don't mind using up a bit of extra room, it's quite good. Anyway, I think I'm pretty set on building a masonry up here, so I'm going to do a bit of testing and see what kind of blocks and pallet I like, collect the materials, and then once we're ready to get that done, I'll be back. So I had a bit of a fun idea for the mason area. Um, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it out just now. Rather than having some sort of like big building here, I was thinking I might have like some sort of like workers like yard. And let's see if this works. So my thought process is to have like lots of different types of stone around the place and do this. So it looks like they're kind of like in some sort of box or container. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try something a bit different, so let's do this. Um, was that 3 by 3 Yep, okay. So, great, that's what we want. And we've got some spruce fences. Okay, I do really like the idea behind this. I'm just not sold on the execution of it. Something just feels off. It's just, it's very difficult to build something like this. Right, let's see how this thing's looking. Okay, you know what, I actually really like that. So, if you hadn't already guessed by now, this is supposed to be some sort of like container that uh, that a crane would hold up or use to transport materials. It's kind of a lot bigger than I had first envisioned though, so that's a bit of a concern. I had only originally wanted like some sort of like small box container, but it's kind of grown out of proportion now, hasn't it? Now, here comes the point where I have to decide. Do I want to build a giant crane to hold this thing? Or will I rip this down and do something else? I'm not saying that I got carried away here, but I think I got carried away. Yep, so I built a crane. Um, I don't know entirely if I like the design yet. I think it needs more work. I think it needs some stuff at the back here. I think we need some sort of like counterweight to make it look as if like there's actually some way to actually lift this thing here. But now that I've got this here, I've realized it's a bit strange out of context. So, ow. So what I'm going to do is, I need to make a dock. <laughs> Thankfully there's a river here that leads to the ocean not too far, so... I'm going to have to build this back a bit and then start connecting it down here to some sort of dock area that I'll have to build. But, at least I know what I want to do with this area now. So I'm going to add a few more little bits around here, give it some character, and make sure that no mobs can get up here because we've gotten very close to this wall now. So I've done the old rail trick here where it looks like something's sort of packaged and ready to go. It actually works kind of okay. It's, it's, it's not too bad. Maybe there's some improvements that can be made to it. I'm not entirely sure. Um, let's see if I can just do... Because the problem is with the rails, obviously, you can't get them to go all the way down. So there has to be the, um, the slant. Is that the right word? Slant? So let's just try the same thing here again. Okay, yeah, you know, with a bit more context, with other stuff nearby, it sort of makes sense now. Sometimes you see a building and you, without any real context, it's kind of confusing. But I, I think that's looking good. So, yeah, you know, actually, now that I see it, it's actually starting to come together a bit. So let's put a couple more of these around the place and then we should be done. And here we have it, everyone, the mason's yard. It's actually came together really well. I'm really, really happy that I decided to use these rails to make it look like it was holding the blocks in place. I wanted to have a giant cobblestone one at the back here just to make it look like there was a huge pile of it there. So definitely still some work needing done here, especially with the crane and stuff. I need to change the variety in this place here. So let's let's take a step back and see from a distance, see how it adds to the sort of skyline of the town. So you're walking down the main street. 
you're walking in. Oh, nice town square, some nice brick buildings back there. And then, ooh, a big tall crane, that's pretty cool. And then you come over here and it's like, oh, this is a big yard that's all open and stuff, that's pretty cool. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, I apologise for being ill. Uh, there's not much I can do about that, but regardless, I hope you enjoyed this. So let me know what you guys think of how this all looks. If you have any feedback or suggestions on how I could improve this, I would love to hear that. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take care and have a good one.